All right, so um, we got the Haji done earlier uh, in the trap box. Now I'm working on my uh, green bush vipers at the Um You'll see, I've got one in the bag. It's just for the fun of it, I'm not gonna grab it. This is, uh, she's down here, obviously. I've got it double zip tied. And I'm going to show you how I did that. So that uh, you too can be a private herpetologist. <laughs> anyway, still got the mail. What I've got here are just standard pillowcases. Uh, you can get these pretty cheap, especially if you go to like garage sales, thrift stores. You just want to make sure that they are in excellent condition. Um, if you sew or have anybody that does sew, you can go through and uh, reinforce the stitching on the bottom, which I recommend, just in case. Certainly don't want one of these little fingers to pop out at you. I'm going to get <coughs> my mail correct this out. You're going to have to excuse me. I'm coming down with some plague. Feel awful. Show must go on. Isn't he pretty? Try to see if I can. Uh -uh. No, we don't go up the hook. That's not a good boy. I use two hooks uh, for exactly the reason that you just witnessed. They like to climb. And being arboreal, they certainly have a very good grip. I'm trying to get him a little bit ooh, closer, but not that close to myself. There we go. Ain't pretty. No, we don't need to go down that way. Don't take over my other hook. Anyway, my iguana is making a bunch of racket. You're probably picking up a weird sound. It sounds like a clicking. Which is the focus on my uh, digital camera. It's like six years old. It's been swimming in the river. Um, it's had a really rough life. So, but it still works. Sort of. Get back. Oh no, we don't come up the hook at mommy. That's not cool. Oops, sorry. Yeah, mommy's not a very good mommy. Mommy just dropped her head. <laughs> Extricating them from the hook is sometimes much easier said than done. All right, and he is right here. Now I use the hook to kind of push him down. Um, certainly don't want him to crawl out. That would be good. And he probably can't see this. Ugh. But uh, right now. I'm less worried about video quality. I'm more worried about my life expectancy. Now what I'm doing here is I'm holding the, a pinning fork <laughs> or a pinning hook, whatever you want to call it, pinning fork, um, flat. Any kind of flat, kind of heavier rod will work. And I'm just sliding it down to the bottom, which is pushing the snake down to the bottom of the bag. Um, I'm keeping pressure on it so that he doesn't slide underneath it and come out and visit me. <laughs> now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use these zip ties. I used two, just again added security. If you really want to be safe and secure, you wouldn't use your hand right here. You could actually use a pair of hemostats, long tongs, whatever. Uh, but I'm quite well aware of where his head is right now because I can see him poking around the bag. So I know that my fingers are not anywhere near the pointy end. Now I'm just going to twist this up real good. And we'll double zip tie it in case one comes loose, which I've yet to have happen. And there's our little snake. He's all in the bag. Now what I like to do is I like to kind of label him. I'm just going to put mail. Oops. Ah. Now I can 
right on the canvas. Now they make bags. I know Midwest or Tom's.com makes a nice professional bag set. And I recommend if you're going to have venomous snakes to invest in these things. Uh, give it the money, but it's worth it. Okay. There's, would you stop? That's my iguana banging around. I'm sorry. But uh, there's that. Now I'm just going to tape the box shut. Mark venomous on it. And they're ready to go. Goodness. And that's why I don't usually tear it up tape. They're ready to go to their next donor. So, healthy, happy, Gorekis. Um Next up is my puff adder, which if you will be patient here, I will quickly, well not quickly, but <laughs> you can't guarantee the quickness. I'm just going to take this up where I feel comfortable leaving it sitting. Now I do have two closets I'm going to keep my snakes in. Uh, my venomous. The only one that's out in the main part of the bedroom here is uh, the haji. Or the haji, whatever. Egyptian cobra. Ouch. Alright. Now this is going to be a totally different ball game. And I'm not really familiar with uh, working with this little dude. Uh, this is going to be our first rodeo, so stand by for the antics because they're about to begin. All right. And I'm going to come right through here. Sorry. Try to keep my fat butt out of the camera as much as possible, but you know, sometimes I just can't help myself. Again, another very crucial detail. Ah. Oh, I hear you. Just to make sure that your workspace is clear, uh, that you know where your snake is at all times. Very, very crucial detail. And you can see her. Lizard. Bad lizard. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear her or not. Uh, let me come over here and see if I can adjust the zoom. <coughs> Sorry. Oops. Take what? Bear with my terrible camera skills here. It's hard to find a cameraman willing to <laughs> go into a room when there's snakes being handled. Here you go. You can see our girly. There's a lock on that cage. Whoops. It's hard to see. And my camera's gonna weave in and out, so back off here. Mm. Terribly sorry folks. <laughs> I am not a camera person. Alright. I don't know if you can hear her. She's really going at it right now. There you go. Onto this uh, stuff here, but uh, sometimes it's whatever works. Now, 
not recommend doing this, but if you're very... Oh, there's my big ones. It's over. Um, if you're really gentle, you can do it. I certainly don't advise on it. It's probably not the best uh, circumstances. <laughs> but since my smaller set of little giants were left in my car, might end up being a two-part video as well. Come launch it out of here. No, I don't like that. And freaking cool, sticky. And I'm keeping, she's little, but I am certainly not prepared to take a smack from this chicken. your head in there if I drop the lid that hurt your noggin. Yeah, I know. We're having a woo. Yeah, ah, don't bite the don't bite the tongs. That would really hurt. Yes, I know. Oh no no. Yeah. Alright. She shouldn't shouldn't take off. She should pretty much chill there. So I'm going to walk around very slowly, give her plenty of distance, because she is really upset, <laughs> in case you didn't notice. Oh, you stupid one, I'm scared the crap out of me. I'm going to try to get over here where I can get a little bit of video over. Isn't she pretty? Beautiful baby girl. Let's see if I can. Whoops. I don't know if you can hear that. Could you be quiet? stress her out too much. It's very stressful when a snake may move like this. So uh, I don't want to make her any more edgy than she already is. This is going to be the a bite. You see people, uh, I want a Gaboon Viper as my, you know, first, second hot. I <laughs> certainly do not recommend anything that has the fangs that these do. Oh, boy, honey. You want to get old? Bear with me here. Okay. Okay, good. Come on, come on. Oops, where'd she go? There we are. Whoop, slid you around. Sorry, baby. There you are. So pretty. Okay. Anyway, that's her. Uh, next on the agenda is just to uh, tape her up. Uh, Mark her appropriately, and she will go in a separate uh, large container, as will the chlorecus. Uh, and they should be pretty well easy to transport. So, thanks for watching.